What's going on guys? This is Raymond Iron Body McKinney, or in this case it's George Washington. As you can see, we're going to talk about money today in this video. So, money is a very controversial thing. It's a very controversial thing, and this little piece, this piece of paper right here, this one dollar bill, it's just a piece of paper, the arrangement of atoms form to structure this dollar bill. And then all nations and countries and such, there's startups of wars, riots, robbery for this little guy right here. This little piece of paper has caused, can, uh, has caused, a uh, or has, a. Uh, Greatly influence a lot of chaos. Now I want to be clear here. Money is not bad. Money is only a tool. And like I said, money is just the arrangement of atoms. Made to form into this picture here, the dollar bill. The root of money is not the root of all evil, guys. The, mo the root of money is not the cause of all evil. The people's attitude towards money, the way they handle money, the way they think of money, the way they um, handle money, is uh, that's what determines its use or misuse. So the money in itself is not bad, but the thinking behind it, the mindset, the, the attitude behind money, that determines the outcome of it. If someone's always... Uh, Implying to themselves they they always can't they always don't have enough money. They're always working hard for money in in the mindset of not uh, worthy of big money and the and therefore they just keep working for it day in day out just struggling by and just to survive. And on the other hand, when people look at uh, say this one dollar bill, it'll be something like. Change the way you look at things and then the things you look at change. So say like if you see a $100 bill and you see that as, as if it's a $1 bill, you're, gonna, you're changing your conception of money. And therefore money is going to respond to that conception of yourself. It must. It's the law of assumption. Uh, the atoms respond to uh, the, the atoms that our world is made of, including this money right here. Responds to how we, um, it responds to consciousness and consciousness directs the thoughts and physical actions of how to obtain money or to uh, give out money. Now, you can have the mindset of just accumulating rich money and, and uh, neglecting everything else, but when you do that, that only. You're only being so attached to money that nothing else seems to be important to you. Important to you. We're here to live a life of variety. To experience thing, to experience amazing things in our lives, other than just trying to accumulate riches. And, and again, there's nothing wrong with getting as much money as you want, guys. Your this is your life. This you have the free will to assume anything you want in life, to assume anything in being in life. You don't have to go. I mean, for me, I've seen. I would think of money, and I would see money show up in my life. I would see money. I saw money lying on the ground the other day, when I was thinking about it. It just it was just sitting there. So money is, it's no accident. When you think about money, you'll, you'll see money. Or when you assume accumulating money, you're going to accumulate money inevitably. It just depends on how, the, how desirous of you are of whatever you, desi whatever you desire. It's all yours, guys. Say like an empty, um, 
money already exists. It's just, again, it's just the arrangement of atoms. Quantum energy made to look visible. And this is just, this, this is quantum energy, guys, to make look visible. This money right here. So it's kind of silly to think, when you think of it like this, to know how simple and basic we can actually use this principle of law of assumption. It, when you realize that, you think, wow, it's kind of, it's really kind of a, um, a waste of energy to fight for money and um, ration out things. It's not the case, guys. It, there's a possible, it's possible. There's a possibility everyone can have riches. Everyone can have enough food and water and shelter. <clears throat> it is definitely possible. There's a possible state of consciousness where everyone is rich and everything like that. So do not limit yourself to say your job. Like you only can, you can only get money from your job. And that's not the case, guys. You don't limit yourself to how you can attain money. You can attain money... From a someone out of the blue, just giving you, just this, just feeling the compelling urge to give you, say, a hundred dollar bill. Who knows? It, it could be, it could literally be that out of the blue, or just find money on the ground at your at your hand. Um. Yeah. So the, no one is limiting you guys, but your own self, your mindset is the most powerful asset you can have to apply in your life. And others, think of others as kind of like a, a subconscious network where they, when you change your mindset, they have the compelling urge to give you money or you find money out of nowhere or if money all of a sudden just shows up like poof. Don't limit yourself, guys. Don't limit yourself. You are the god or goddess of your, your reality. Don't limit yourself. Again, the only person that's limiting you is your own self. So, I hope this video helps. I bless you all, and happy manifesting.